And we're back to more dead space. Oh, 50 failure, uh, 50 minutes of the last video. Guess I'm going a bit too slow. Oh well. <laughs> I know I'm a bit too calm and collected for dead space. It's weird. Like, oh no, he isn't freaking out about frickin' things with sharp pointy bits popping out of the vents now, him. Whatever shall we do? He's now freaking out about the audio art suddenly appearing. He isn't doing the classic YouTuber freak out about everything. Exactly. And then again, I sort of know enough about Dead Space to be dead things. So yeah, our good friend Strail Blighting. You have after last seizures, you really shouldn't be watching Dead Space, to be honest. Like, it's not funny, though. Maybe I'm just imagining things. I probably am imagining things. Still going the right way? Still going the right way. You... Clever ah. distress. Oh no! I need to move back space. Give me my space. The game's gonna be trying to do that a lot, by the way. It's like, hey, look at the guy! You should go follow him. Oh wait, there's one behind you. And now he's in front of you. Cause you know, we're trying to get ya. Isaac, we made it to oh, the bridge. Right here, right. It's a nightmare up here. No survivors. We're going to try to get to the command computer. Wish us luck. Eh, good luck. You're gonna need it. Cause this ship is full of squiggly things. And sharp, pointy bits. And uh, now that we're back here, we can get all this shiny stuff that we couldn't get the first time. I got to take my time to look at things. Like cigarette trays. I guess that's what it is. Maybe. Poss possibly. Nice to know that in the future, the cigarettes still look the same. Oh, a lot of stuff still looks the same. And this is what, the 26th century? <coughs> and stuff still looks pretty much the same. Sort of. <coughs> In ways. More plasma energy. Five credits. Don't really need that. <coughs> oh, come on. Uh, punch it. There we go. A stasis pack. Yeah, sure, that, that's totally what I need. I was going to put one of my chips in the but... You... Honestly, I might need to use vertical a bit on you. Okay, so what's my... That's my log. There we go. Yeah, I want me to prep that. So basically we're returning to the ship, right? Boop. Yes. Cause you know, this thing... It's not too bad, I mean... How exactly am I going to prepare this for launch? That... 
definitely looks stable. Sure, sure, let me just go poke it and see how badly damaged it is. Now we have a med pack out, know, just in case I need it. Too many med packs. Yeah, sure, let's go. Hostile life form detected. Hull damage critical. Oh god, I can't. Thanks for blowing. I'm not. I'm well, I don't think we're getting off that. Oh, that's. Collision detected in the main. My mouse somehow exited the screen start clicking things. That's not good. You're supposed to stay inside the screen. AFA. Emergency crews have been notified. What the hell is happening down there? What happened to the shuttle? That was our ride home. It's the only way off the ship. Kendra. No, Hammond! This changes everything! Just let me think. Can you access the command computer? It's no good. There's an executive lockdown of all primary systems. Without the captain's authorization, I can't access them. Well, where's the captain? Here he is. Captain Benjamin Mathias. Location? Med lab. Status? Deceased. What? How? I can't access that information. Find the captain and you'll find his rig. With his authorization codes, I can crack this computer wide open. Damn it. Isaac, I'm sending the tram back to your location. Get to the medical deck and find that rig as fast as you can. What was that? Oh. Come on. Oh, squeaky tail thing. Where is that way anyway? Yeah, that way too. It's I was gonna say it's a bit dark. Now we can go this way. Boop. They really are trying to load me up on stuff, like, you know, I have 200 health packs. You're gonna need them. Um. How about I get rid of this? Cause, yeah, I, I would prefer that. Sometimes it's good to check the bathrooms, I mean. That looks like a really uncomfortable toilet, though. I mean, whose ass is square enough to enjoy sitting on that? Space toilets. First time I hearing whispers. I probably am. Anything? No. They're a large med pack, that's pretty good. Don't really want to use, you know, the quick help, just in case it frickin' you know. Decides, hey, you're trying to kill? Well, guess what? We're going to use that one instead. Even though you're barely wounded. So many elevators. Shame I don't have an elevator song. By the way, stores. How the heck is that? Ah, 
be Chinese, I'm not sure. Or it could just be symbols. So, just in case you don't have a plasma cutter. Well, it's pretty obvious what we want. I mean... Okay, so... The pulse rifle... It's all we're having at. The military grade assault rifle. Thing is, it doesn't cut off limbs. Which is a bit unfortunate, because... We're dealing with things that need the limbs cut off. Yeah, but I mean, we could pelt them to death with enough bullets through their limbs, but... We obviously want the level 2 suit. I mean, it increases the inventory, among other things. So basically, we strapped, uh... Some more plates onto ourselves, I guess. Yes. And now our helmet does look like a toaster. <laughs> space toaster. Yay for space toaster. So we have enough space for stuff. So we could technically get a gun. Uh, I'm not sure though. Like I'm honestly fine with the plasma cut. The line gun uh, tempts me, but it means more things for me to use power nodes on. Mm, I could just buy a power node. Call it good. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I just got call it good. Okay, so carry on. Move to my safe. Move to my safe. Move. Move. Yeah, that that would do. Now it's like I sure didn't need that. I'll just stay about itself for anyway, that much. Yeah. No, it's just 5,000 actually. Oh well, well. Do I need more plasma energy? Nah. I think I'm good. Shouldn't need to buy med packs like ever. Really. I mean... There's always pain. I'm not sure. What ping actually is? Could it be like a dating thing or like tender of the future? I don't even know. And there was sun cola. Bring out the sun. We put miniature suns in all of our cola. Or it could be like some sort. But. Uh, Sunny D version of Zelda. So, we have a power node, right? So this here is basically if you fire a weapon, you go to it and actually use your node on it. Fun times. But I said about saving one node. Exactly. So anyway. Let's go to the next area. And we're done with chapter one. So now then, uh, there's quite a few slaves so that's actually there's well that's our track. Okay, how many chapters there are in this? But we're gonna make a save. And eat for each chapter in a new slot. Why? Because it's what people do for this game. 
and you'll see why at the end. Of course, most people know by now. But that would be spoilers. Sorry, but fair safe than sorry. I need your legs to be gone. I need you to stop being squiggly. Let's go with that for a while. Okay. Fits it. Uh, okay, we get. We have figured out how to grab it. That health pack. And there's space for it. That in our store, that in our store. Good, good. So now we have the fun part. Ah, that's why we have it. Yes. You can... Uh, it's about how fun that will be in combat. It's also very situational. Like most things that involve combat and telekinesis. Or kinesis. What have you. <laughs> Game, I'm pressing E. That means enter the bloody store. There's, of course, nothing very new at this. Like we need to find, like, blueprints and stuff for new stuff. Then we have no real mo new money, so go figure. Flamethrower. I... I can't remember how effective the flamethrower is. Here's the thing. Most people would be like, Oh, a flamethrower. Oh, I probably bought the blind gun or the pouch rifle. But I want a flamethrower. Me, I'm just like, I don't really want a flamethrower because, well... I've had bad experiences with flamethrowers in most games. Like, what was the last one? I can't remember. Like Deadly Premonition, for instance. Oh, they're on fire. Which means they're gonna run right at me while on fire. By a flamethrower. I did. Oh. Are you there? We were attacked. Kendra's gone. Oh, one minute God. she was there, and I, I can't believe I lost her. We can still do this. Get me the captain's rig codes and we'll find Nicole. Looks like the crew barricaded the door to the emergency wing. Yeah. You have to blow through it to get to the morgue. Get some thermite from medical storage and a shock pad from zero G therapy. Should be down the corridor. God, communication is useless in all this static. And why are you calling me? So we need to get through here. Yeah. We need a thermite bomb, basically. Can I do this? No. I was like, can I block the door? Aha! The door gives no... <laughs> gives no even a damn. Oh, well. So we have that way? And we're that way. Good thing I go that way, eh? But what if I want to go the other way instead? But anyway, since we have a store, might as well. Poke. 
So, you have unlocked the flamethrower. It's a flamethrower. I'm not sure how effective it is. I can't remember the effectiveness of weapons in Dead Space 1. Dead Space 2 gets a bit ridiculous. Like, you'll see why. When I actually get around to Let's Play. Uh, Imaging Diagnostics Lab. Welcome to the lab. If you've been referred to the lab, please have to refer to form and CIEC authorization. Then proceed to the lab office. Well, I don't have my forms, but I can proceed. Hi. Those are questions me. Why don't we have a flashlight? Like seriously, we should have a flashlight in these situations. <coughs> no, open the door. Don't stop. <coughs> Hi. There's a bench. And I believe this here is why we have power notes? Mm-hmm. This is why you should always have at least one power node. You found something down there, didn't you? Yes, we found something. So the texts were right all this time? I wouldn't be certain of that. There was nothing divine in what I saw. We must embrace this. We are the first witnesses. Matthias isn't letting anyone down in the colony. It's under quarantine until we learn more. To hell with Matthias. He of all people should know that this is greater than him, or the operation, or even the company. This is our deliverance. Keep your damn voice down. People are dying down there. Only the worthless and the unbelievers. But I believe. Do you believe, Terrence? Do you? Right. We'll get into that shortly, I'm sure. That's why we came in here, the GOAT semiconductor. It's worth like, what, 10,000? Something like that? Takes up an inventory slot, of course, but yeah. I think it's like, it's either 10,000 or 20,000. Would make sense for it to be 10,000. I mean, we did spend like 10,000 right there. Opening the door. Use Kinesis on heavy objects that display this symbol. Okay, so a magnet symbol. Um. Boop. Yeah. Easy to go over there. Okay. That's are useful. Cause yeah, I can't just they don't really have feet for me to shoot. In case you didn't have a power note for that door back there. 
more plasma energy. Pulse rounds. Yeah, okay, you bought the pulse rifle. You sort of do need pulse rounds for the pulse rifle. It makes sense. Oh, so the schematic does take up a slot. Oh, so... Okay, a bit full on plasma rounds. I mean, plasma energy. That door's locked, so we might as well go up. Charge, but I think I'm good. Ah, you should probably save. So we have the surgery therapy area. We have the chemical. Well, I can't go to the chemical research lab. So I guess I'm going to the surgery. Entering vacuum. Your air meter will appear when you are in a vacuum. Thanks for telling me. Can I move now? <coughs> Stop that. We need a battery. You know, I would prefer if you actually pick things up. Thanks. Just because we're on a timer. I mean, we have the 40 seconds. As you know, Yishimura is able to set his gravity locally. Your grav boots will kick in when you enter a zero G area. Ah, yes, the grav boots. Oh, so. I'll probably actually store stash uh, that L pack because we shouldn't need most parts. So, right. Your ammo counter will flash red if you can't jump to a surface. That's a big amount. Cause you know, let's get disoriented everyone. Thank you. It's not going to get disorienting or anything. Wait, if I go up there? No. No, I can't. But wait. 
So what's the part of that one over there? So we have both over here. Don't really know. Where is the part of that one? Hmm. Oh well. Yeah, we get things. We'll take a temperature. Exiting zero gravity. Dreaded. Thank you. Okay. Oh, well, that's a shock pad. Great. You got a shock pad. Combine that with the thermite at the barricade to destroy it. Shit. I can hear more coming. Moving through the vents. Stay safe, Isaac. That means there's probably going to be things in my zero G area. Oh, isn't that going to be fun? Entering zero gravity. That's right. So let's see. Entering vacuum. Oh yeah. Yes. Boop. Boop. <coughs> yeah, he can't really hear them. Uh, Black of sound and space. Vacuum. Okay. Oh, fine. I'll use both then. I need more help. Back. Hmm, that's still a lot. <coughs> Don't really need more ammo, but thanks. Oh, 
Oh, it's only worth three. I thought it was worth more. Oh, that's sad. Yes. Yeah, sad. You've moved. No. Right, upper. You've moved. There we go. Okay. Open inventory. Where's my feather? Eh, that'll do. So next time, we go to the other side. The research wing. But that's for next time. Hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all, and have a nice day.